It's time for a showdown. Sure, you give us 400 seconds, but you're probably gonna reset it soon. It ends now. Here we go with this music. Hmm. I'll go down here first. Of course, because there's a P-switch. And odds are, we're probably gonna need it. But we don't want to waste it. Like that. On top of that, we got this key, and a little bit of what sounds like feedback or whatever it is. We we'll want to take our time with the key because it ain't gonna be friendly. It's not your mother's level. That was a lame one terrible one. Hmm. Doesn't seem we actually needed the P-switch for that. Let's do it again, for good measure. On the other hand, we need the P-switch for this. Yeah, we can get the springboard this way. Even without a cape, we can do that. Let's take the key with us first. Hmm. Maybe the springboard now. And get stuck for a little moment. Question is, where was the door? Now we know where the springboard is needed. Get to hear more of the music now. Huh. Beware. Turn around because some of these flames actually walk out. You'll be able to tell which ones immediately when you turn around. And that one isn't even there. So sprite limits must have succumbed to it. Or it must have succumbed to sprite limits. The problem is... They're immune to the cape. But at least they... At least you can spin jump off of them. Glad this is a different area. I was thinking we'd been in the same place. Such a place. Hmm. Now what? Well, the music loops. So up we go. Another shot. In this case, running forward probably doesn't matter because... They're up there, so they can't hurt us. Unless we jump up there. If they hurt us at all. But they're all... Stiff, so... No need to worry. We go down now. Gotta do this again, though. Huh. Spike disappeared. Alright. Run. And it makes the wrong sound. They appeared out of nowhere. 
But at least they fall in lava. Oh no. Obvious that this is safe. did not work at all. <laughs> Why me? Way to get that Koopa shell stuck in there. I'm gonna wait. Wrong way. <laughs> Let's not wait. Instead, hurry up. Ooh, good thing. With a bad thing, too. And now we're back to the good thing yet again. <laughs> Back to the Boomerang Brothers. Now an area that looks a little familiar to an earlier level. But that's not all. Pin jump did not help in that one. So, over this way. If Boomerang Brothers were immune to fireballs, then we would be in trouble. Scratch that. If Hammer Brothers were immune to fireballs, then we'd be in big trouble. They were immune to both fireballs and a cape, and you could not jump on the hammers, then... Hmm. Yeah, the area did seem familiar. Huh. Looks like we're back to level one, I think. For some reason. I don't know why you'd put me back in level one. Also, you did not reset the time, but... And why would I get hurt in level 1? The only reason I load state there is because this level is very long, and also... It apparently has no halfway point. Even if it did... It'd probably just send you back to the to the end of the first room. Unless Cypher knew how to fix that. Into this orb we go. Back to this music. Huh. Maybe that was supposed to be the halfway point right there. Or maybe here, but it broke. Turn around. Wait, no, 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 no. This would not be the halfway point because it's a vertical level. Come to think of it, were there any vertical levels with halfway points in the original SMW? I don't think so. So I don't know how they would work here. If you could get one to work, that would be wonders. Falling down, 
presuming there's going to be a candle. Good guess. But it was a guess. What's this? Radioactive, as it seems. So many ghosts. Oh no. And now we've got electricity. Back to the narrow passages, too. Looks like we just entered hell. Or something like that. Eternally unpredictable. We're in trouble. Or... Maybe we could just forget the first one and go right to the second one. But that was an instance of instant death while hardly even touching it from the top. An ordinary hacker would find out that if going to the top, apparently only if the bottom of Mario touches it would he die. How much more to the level is this? Is there? Probably a lot. And we gotta do this... Hop on all of them. Refer to them as pop if you want. But I won't. Time to be possessed. Please, no. Okay, I'm going to pause it here just for one thing. Sorry about that. I don't know what got to me. But, we're back at this. Probably the same idea as before. Apparently it's a key. Why would I think there was a P-switch there if it was surrounded by brown blocks? Unless it was a silver P-switch, of course. So I gotta do both. Spin jumping will work. Hmm. Suppose I have to hurry this up? I hope it's not a serious hurry. Like Kaizo. I could probably tolerate that. Whoops. It's probably going to be a lot more, though. And now we got a switch puzzle. Something eerily familiar to the... to the last room of the original SMW. Well, at least what we would call the last room, because... looks 
Almost like the one just before Bowser's castle. No, 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 don't hit me. Well, the football didn't hit me, but... Okay. Well, we meet at last. You're foolish, you know. I think he'd just wait. Would you rather keep the woman or the Mushroom Kingdom? That's a threat. Either way, everyone dies. Wait a minute. This is the music from Mario Gives Up, apparently. Oops. I guess I gotta go down here, then. What? She's down here now? Aware that this music does feel a little bit glitchy on Zsnes, but I haven't heard it all the way though. Okay. Nope. There's the. Reach of the music. And yes, it is epic. Also, with this slowdown. Gotta alternate the switch between off and on. What's with the princess's eyes here? And why does she breathe fire? Oh no. Now she throws hammers. Well, there goes my spare fire flower. But I'm not gonna need it. I dodged that. And as we can hear, apparently music is glitching up some of the audio. It's a more foreign one, I suppose. Now the hammers are coming towards me. So I gotta dodge them. That one doesn't throw hammers, though. Ooh. Wow. On top of that, there's a bullet bill. Ducking will do. Seriously? Gotta force her down?
Well, I guess it's a sacrifice that I have to make. Just don't come too close. Ah! A devil's trap! But don't forget. If you send me to hell, you send the princess to hell. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Selfish Mario. Ah! I, I have a plan. So the devil and the princess... were cast into oblivion. She gave her life to replenish the Mushroom Kingdom. What is the plan Mario speaks of? Time will tell. Selfish Mario. <laughs> Sheesh. Now yeah, we got the credits. There's Super Tales. There's FPI. Super Tales for Tales of Elementia, I think. Who's Big Al in this case? Oh, Yoshi Cookie Zeus, you're there for a while. Now the XGFX. Of course, Cyphermer. There's Ghetto Youth, Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom. Again with FBI, Black Sabbath, and Scorpion. And who's unknown? Who knows? That was terrible. <laughs> yeah. Abruptly names that I don't quite recognize. I'm not that active on SMW Central, so... And there's Morrow exclamation marks. Cypher Murr again. Yoshi Cookie Zeus again. Ghetto Youth again. Dispari Skuro. Super Mario TKO. the first name edit. Is that 1754 or 17S4? With the patches, once again we have Pie Guy of Super Untitled World. And special thanks to Cypherver and Fusoya. How do you thank yourself? And Nintendo. Of course. Who made the inspiration possible. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> oh well. Pa Sorry about that. This time I'll actually press the switch. You've activated the red switch. Now the bonus levels are accessible and some extra information can be retrieved. So we've unlocked another time machine. Just warps us back here, apparently. Into Mushroom. Love how you need to go one way before you can go the other. I also love a particular glitch in... With some of these time machine portals, apparently going a little bit to the right will cause it to glitch and go into the endless bonus game. 
And I write what I say, it's headless. So next time I guess we'll see if we're blind. 